Welcome back guys. What you just saw was the plasma portal. We are going to be going in depth in how to make this. So if you like this sort of teaching style, please let us know. And with that being said, let's get right on into it. Starting off, we will build our portal frame. I've just finished the design here on CAD. And this is gonna be the what houses our electrical components, including our circuit board and our transformer. Uh, going on top of this is our lid. And then on top of our lid is our actual portal frame. So this is what's gonna be holding the, the magnet and the, the copper ring where the plasma is gonna be generated. While we have the 3D printer printing our case, I'm gonna go into depth on the circuit and show you how to build it and solder it. These are all the components that we're gonna be using to build our ZVS driver circuit for our flyback transformer. Basically, we have two 12 volt Zener diodes, two 10 kilo ohm resistors, two 470 ohm resistors, two 4007 fast diodes. We've got our power switch. We've got a copper discharge ring. Uh, we have a around 50 microhenry inductor. Then we have two MKP capacitors rated at 0.33 microfarad each. Um, you can do it this way or you can do one MKP around 0.68. Uh, microfarad capacitor too, and it, it'll work just as good. We've got two IRFP260 MOSFETs, and these are what uh, basically push and pull the current back and forth to oscillate our primary on our flyback transformer. We also have our connectors. These are going to be what are interfacing our circuit board with our MOSFETs, and then we've got our power input connector and then flyback output connection. All right, now that we have all of that, let's, uh, let's go straight into assembling it. This circuit board is definitely too small for all these components, but I am making it work because it is the only one I have. Um, I've added some copper wire jumpers to kind of just help with the spacing. Um, but yeah, we only have four components left, so I'll get those soldered and we'll test it. Okay, our circuit board is finished. This is how it turned out. It's pretty dirty, but it should work. And now we will wind 10 windings around here, two sets of five with these copper wires. Now that that is all wrapped, I will show you how to wire this into your ZVS circuit. Once you've finished winding your flyback transformer, go ahead and combine the, the middle two connections just like this, and then wire three cables to each of these. That way you can easily wire it directly into your ZVS driver. Once you've done this, uh, each of these points will connect to the following three points on this circuit diagram. The middle is the only one that matters, um, and it has to go to this point here. These two can be interchangeable between this point and this point. Once we've done this, we can wire it directly to our ZVS driver and give it a test. Oh, okay. And it's working. Okay, now that we have our ZVS driver wired to our flyback, let's add power. Nine, 10, okay. 10 volts, we're able to get little baby arc. And just like that, we have a working ZVS driver. It works. I'm gonna go ahead and solder a high voltage negative lead on this terminal because I think this is the output and then we will start assembling. I'm going to add a microwave high voltage diode onto this terminal. I'm doing this just because uh, the output of this specific flyback is AC and we, want, we don't want AC, we want uh, DC because we're gonna be manipulating it with a uh, magnetic field and AC is hard to control with a magnetic field. After I get this done, then we will start wiring up the, the button and the power input and we will be ready to go. Don't forget to install your heat sinks onto your MOSFET so they don't overheat. We are nearing the end of this build. These are just the last few components that we need to assemble. We've got our magnet here that we will be putting inside of our frame. And then we're gonna also wrap this with copper wire to act as a radiator to add surface area to the magnet since the plasma will heat this magnet up quite a bit and our two lug terminals for attaching our, our wiring. 
Okay, we just finished winding this uh, copper wire around this magnet, and this is how it turned out. Now we're going to install this onto our frame and prepare the cathodes to be mounted as well. Holders. I'm centering the middle rod with this copper ring, making sure everything is symmetric before we power it on. All right, we've got 31 volts going in. Uh, everything's wired up. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one. Ooh. That's so mesmerizing to look at. All right, we're gonna see what all we can teleport with this plasma portal, starting with some cardboard. It looks really cool. Experiment two, Pringles. Who knew a Pringle was so flammable? All right, guys, that is the end of our Plasma Portal video. I hope you liked it. Uh, we are selling these in our Level 8 Lab shop, so if you want to check them out, we will leave a link in the description. Uh, please check out our channel for all of our other cool builds. We have a lot of cool stuff going on, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.